Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mrs. Smith88. So today I have a Aldi Huntington Home candle haul for you guys. This is from the Aldi Weekly Finds. And previously we've called these the Joe Malone dupe candles as they do have the same aesthetic as Joe Malone. They have those numbered candles going on. So like number nine, number 27, number 20, just like Joe Malone. Some of these fragrances may be similar, but there are obvious ones that are not like American Dreams is not a dupe for Joe Malone. So there were a total of four candles in this collection. I did pick up three out of the four. I typically don't review these because I tend to favor the three wicks. Anything that does not have at least three wicks in it does not always burn the greatest for me. So I've just been trying to cut that out so I don't waste money and I can actually use what I have without being over consumed. But I was in store looking for the seasonal three wicks. I will have a separate video on those. I happen to smell these. They ended up smelling good. So they ended up in my cart. So like I said, this was a collection of four. I did pick up three of them. The one I did leave on the shelf was Basil and Neroli. So automatically from the get-go, you guys know that was my least favorite. If I didn't pick it up and I didn't bring it home, definitely a least favorite. So let's jump in and actually talk about these fragrances. I'm going to start with number 20. So number 20 is called American Dreams. They have it in this matte red glass container. Even the lid on these is like a matte nickel finish. These are some weighty candles. Let's see how much they actually weigh. They're 11.6 ounces. They are priced at $4.99. So 50 cents higher than the traditional three wicks. So we do have good spacing between our wicks. Our wicks look like they have a decent thickness to it. This one does have some cracking in the wax. So when I smell American Dreams, I get caramel apple 100% of the way. I definitely feel like it is not an even balance of caramel apple. I feel like you're getting probably about 40% apple, 60% caramel. The caramel is very, very strong, very predominant in this. And it is like a higher end bougie caramel, like a gourmet caramel, I guess you would say. It's not like you're walking in the grocery store and grabbing a jar of Smucker's caramel. It is definitely a gourmet caramel with a crisp, fresh apple undertone to it. So let's go ahead and move on to number nine, which is Earl Grey and Cucumber. So Earl Grey and Cucumber is in this matte navy blue. The uh, Basil Neroli was in a lighter blue matte packaging. So this one is a dark navy blue. I have much appreciation for the navy blue. We recently did our downstairs half bathroom in a dark blue color. My brother who did my renovation kept saying, you need a boy bathroom in this house, a boy bathroom. Two of your bathrooms are girly and they're not really girly, they're neutral. But, um, so I went a little bit more masculine in my downstairs bathroom and I have to say I absolutely love it. So back to number nine, Earl Grey and Cucumber. So this one surprises me because does it smell like tea and cucumbers? I don't think it smells like tea and cucumbers at all, but I do quite like this one. I will say that, um. I'm not going to say that it's not my favorite because I don't want to rate these yet, but it's pretty up there. So to me, the Earl Grey and Cucumber smells like baby powder or like a talcum powder. I get a powdery tone in there, but I also get a very nice fresh spiciness. I think that's where the cucumber is coming into play, but does it smell like a fresh cucumber? No, this smells like a higher end perfumed fragrance that a female would wear. Like I would 100% wear that fragrance. It would not be a perfume that I would wear every day. I would view it more as a special occasion fragrance because it smells bougie. It smells high end. Um, I wouldn't say quite boutique, but it smells like a luxury, luxurious 
fragrance. So moving on to the last one that I grabbed in the bunch. This one is in matte white. I absolutely love this aesthetic of the matte white. Mine does have some red scuffs on it. I mean, I didn't really care. I don't hang on to my jars. So number 27 is Plum and Patchouli. So I was a little bit nervous and hesitant in store to smell this because I'm like, oh, patchouli is going to be a little bit on the spicy side. Plum is going to be deep and dark. And I feel like this candle was anything but that. It was not dark. It was not spicy. This has like almost a sparkling plum aspect to it. It is a very lighthearted, fun plum. Um, not too overly fruity, but you definitely don't get that like dark plum mysteriousness to it. It's more of, like I said, that sparkling, upbeat, plum, happy plum fragrance. And the patchouli, patchouli is a green note. Um, I have it actually in a lot of my perfumes. And in this case scenario, it adds a freshness to it. So it's not really spicy. It is more of a fresh, sparkling, effervescent plum. So let me go ahead and rate these number one through three of my least favorites, my most favorite. So my least favorite is going to be the number 20, the American Dreams. Like I said, it's a caramel apple. Great fragrance. There is nothing wrong with this fragrance. But in order to go in this collection, I don't think that this really fit the bill. Um, with like the Joe Malone dupes, so you think high-end luxury candles and that kind of stuff. When I'm thinking of caramel apple candles, I'm thinking of like Bath and Body Works. I'm thinking of Yankee Candle, just the mainstream candle brands. Not only that, they recently did a caramel apple in the seasonal collection, which I'm going to be showing you guys soon. And it's 50 cents cheaper. Do they smell the same? No, spoiler alert, they don't smell the same. And if I had to pick between the two, I probably would pick this one. But I just don't think that this one fit into the collection. So that's why it's in my number three spot. Obviously, you know, my number four spot is that basil and neroli. Number two spot is going to be the Earl Grey and Cucumber. Like, I love this fragrance, but I'm also completely satisfied with the fact that I only got one. I definitely look forward to burning it, seeing how it performs. Like I said, it smells like a luxurious perfume. You got those powdery notes in there. You got a little bit of fresh spice in there. It smells like a luxury candle. It fits the bill of luxury candle. My number one is the Plum and Patchouli. Like that one, the name alone scared me so bad. And then when I smelled it in store, I fell in love. When I got home, I fell even more in love. I have deep remorse not buying two of the Plum and Patchouli. If I happen to be by Aldi this weekend, yes, I am walking my happy ass in there and I am grabbing another Plum and Patchouli. So fingers crossed that these burn good because they are two wicks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and bye everyone.